Hey, Playhouse Films, James here. In 1492, Christopher Columbus sailed westward to find a new trade route to East Asia, but instead found the Americas, making him the first person to discover America. Or was he? In around 1000, Leif Erikson sailed westward to find new land and found the Americas, making him the first person to discover America. Or was he? Columbus and the Vikings may have been the ones who discovered America, but they also could not have. Today, we will investigate five theories about who really discovered America, and rank them based on plausibility. John Roscomp, a chemist from Illinois, was walking through the Petroglyph National Monument in Albuquerque when he noticed some peculiar markings. Unlike the rest of the markings there, Ruskamp claims the markings were Chinese, since they matched a style of script commonly seen in China around 2,500 years ago. Ruskamp also found a drawing of an elephant in Petrified Forest National Park in Arizona, and the word for teeth in the, and the word for teeth <laughs> and the word <laughs> and the word and the word for teeth in the script, as mentioned earlier, in Nevada's Grapevine Canyon. This is a decent case of evidence, however, there is no written or archaeological evidence to back this theory up. 2 out of 10. Allegedly, a Welsh prince named Madoc landed in Mobile Bay, present-day Alabama in 1170, before returning with some settlers. They then somehow traveled several hundred miles north to meet the Mandan tribe and intermarried with them. I would heard of a town that they had supposedly built, but I couldn't find the video I would heard it from. So new land fair pool gwen gil gogorish wind draw cecilia gogogok must remain in my heart. 4 out of 10. So this segment is the one that almost got this video scrapped because the only sources I could find were telling me to buy some British guy's book, but luckily I found a couple of articles. Supposedly, Zheng He, the Chinese admiral who explored the Indian Ocean, sailed beyond East Africa, which he didn't. There's no evidence of that ever happening. Then they supposedly dropped by Italy and started the Renaissance because yes, before sailing to the American Southwest and teaching the Apaches Chinese, which they supposedly still speak today, which they don't. The author of the book I mentioned claims that after the Chinese emperor died in 1424 and the new emperor sent China into isolation for the 342,852,837th time, any records of exploration beyond Africa were destroyed in order to discourage people from going back to America. But in my professional opinion, I disagree. First of all, because if the records were destroyed, how did you magically get your hands on them? To break the already flimsy argument, PBS aired a two-hour-long documentary in 2004 debunking every point made in the entire book, which I find hilarious. Overall, this would make a great alternate history series, any aspiring mappers in the audience, you're welcome, but also a terrible theory that some people genuinely believe in. Zero out of ten. Muslim traders have explored a lot throughout history, from Morocco to Japan. But there's a theory that they went even further, and you'll never guess where. The evidence for this one is that Columbus supposedly reported seeing a mosque in Cuba. That's literally it. However, there's one thing that makes this theory implausible, and that's that the one who suggested it in the first place was Erdogan. Negative a billion out of ten. The Polynesians were probably the best seafarers of their time, all the way up to the British, and considering how they are right next door to America, it makes sense that they would have made their way over. And considering how they went from Malaysia to Madagascar, it wouldn't surprise me if they went the other way as well. The bones of a chicken were found in Chile, and thanks to our old pal radiocarbon dating, the bones were from before Columbus, and America didn't have chickens, so that's quite curious. Another piece of evidence is the native Californian boat known as the Tomolo'o, both in its name and its design. The Tomolo'o is designed very similarly to a Hawaiian boat known as the Tumalu'au, with the Tomolo'o believed to be a distortion of Tumalu'au. Overall, I give this theory a 7 out of 10.
I think the Polynesians went to America, but I don't think they stayed there. In conclusion, most likely Columbus rediscovered America after the Vikings rediscovered America after the Siberians discovered America, but that doesn't mean we know for sure. Some theories are more plausible than others, but we may never really know. Feel free to comment your ratings for all these theories or present some of your own. Thanks for watching, and this has been Playhouse Films. This land is your land. This land is my land. I'm a Texas tiger. You're a liberal wiener. I'm a great crusader. You're a Herman Munster. This land will surely vote for me.